Okay, so um, this is to demonstrate how to intubate a dog. Um, and so first thing you wanna do is make sure you have the appropriately sized tube. Um, and so the way we typically do that is to measure the between the nose here. And so on this guy, probably more like a five and a half would be good because I've already looked and know um, I'm gonna use a four on him, but you can see the way that that fits. So that's gonna be kind of appropriately sized. And then you may have to change it once you get in there. But on him, we're gonna, we're gonna use our four because I know that that fits well. The next thing you want to do is make sure you measure the depth, so, so how far you want the tube to go in. And so we want the tip of the tube to be at about the thoracic inlet, which is right around here. So I like to measure before I even try to intubate so I know where it's at. Um, I put it at the thoracic inlet and then I look to see where the canine tooth matches up with the number on the tube and then I remember that. So for him, that's going to be about the 17. Um, so then I just remember that for when I place the tube in. Next. We're gonna always use your laryngoscope. Um, so he's gonna need the bigger one. So this gives us a light and then just better visualization. Next, you need an assistant. <laughs> hold him from the mouth. Okay, so we have our assistant. So assistant's gonna hold the dog and sternal head straight so we can see in there. And then she's gonna pull out the tongue for me too because that makes it e easier to use the laryngoscope. Um, and then, so you place the laryngoscope, you don't want to touch, when you look at the anatomy back here, you don't want to touch the epiglottis, which is that flat back there with it, because it can be irritating. You actually just push down the very back of the tongue. That's going to kind of open everything up. Then you can see the hole back there between the vocal cords, and up top there, the arytenoids. Let me try. You see? Yep, there you go. So, right in the middle there. Then you're going to just very gently slide your tube directly in. This guy has a small little opening, so, so it gets a little bit more friction than you actually should have. Um, but gently slide it in. Then we're gonna make sure that our 17 is lined up with the canine, which it is, looks good. Then you're gonna place your tie. Make sure you don't get that little tube in there. And then you can either tie it around his nose, back of the head. On this guy, we've got enough room that we can do the back of his head. And that's better anyway, especially if you're doing like a dental. Okay, now he's all hooked. Thank you, Sarah. Um, and then next, you're going to hook him up to the anesthesia machine, which we don't have. And then last is inflate the cuff um, and make sure you have a tight seal.